Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and welcome to this part of the Gatling step by step masterclass. Now in the earlier sessions, we have started with Gatling. We looked at how can we use Gatling. We used Gatling standalone and we also looked at how can we use Gatling in a project. So just to see what all we have done. So these are the topics and after out of this, we have seen what is Gatling features, how to use Gatling. We have seen the Gatling standalone setup. Then we looked at the Gatling project. How do we use Gatling in a project? And we have seen all these steps there. And then we also looked at the Gatling recorder in the last session, the different uh, check boxes there are on the Gatling recorder and what does all of these mean. And now in this part, let us start with the simulation script. Okay. So I will go very basic step by step and we will understand all these topics in a very easy way. You will also find all the links, all the notes in the description of the video. I will also keep a link for this document in the description. Uh, and whenever you face any issues, if you have any questions, you can always let me know in the comment section of the video and you can do hands on along with me. So here in Gatling simulation is the description of the load test written in a script. Okay, so if you uh, see if I go to my project or if you open any of the Gatling scripts, let us let me open the script we created in the last session. So you can see this is our load test or the description of our load test written in form of a script. Okay, and in Gatling we can write or we can have the simulation script in Java, Scala or Kotlin and the three basic parts of any Gatling simulation script are the protocol scenario and setup. So protocol means the configuration. It can be HTTP configuration. Then we have the scenario part where we create our actual requests and then the setup part where we give the user load and same thing you can see here in any Gatling script. Let me double click here and expand it. So in any Gatling script, you will see the protocol part which will have all the, the protocol that will be added to our requests. Then we have the scenario where we create our actual requests. And then at the end, we have the setup part where we give our user load. Okay. So let us see all these parts one by one in a Gatling simulation script at the top, you can see an information about the package which is optional if your script is there inside a package at the top you will see there is the package name so let's say in our case this script we stored inside the package computer database and therefore you can see the information about the package at the top so this is at the top after this you will see the imports and here you can see we have got all these import statements. Now in any Gatling simulation script, you will always find these two imports, Gatling core and Gatling HTTP mostly in all the basic Gatling scripts. And then based on if you are using any other libraries, you can find more imports here. For example, there's also a JDBC uh, in Gatling, then other options are also there. So you will find all the imports that are used in our script, if you are using any function, any classes from the Gatling library, you will find its imports here. Okay. After this, we have the class declaration and the class will always extend the Gatling simulation class. So here you can see this is the class name and then it extends the simulation class of Gatling. And here you can see it is coming from io.gatling.core also in case you want if you hover over this class name and press control key on your keyboard or command if you are on Mac it will turn into a link and then you can click on it and it will take you to the simulation class of Gatling and you can see you can go and see from where it is coming so this is how we declare a class. Okay. After this, you will see 
the common configuration so basically after this you will find the protocol section and in the protocol section we give the common configuration of our test that will be added to all our requests so like the base URL so this will get added in all the requests then if there are any other headers or any other configuration for the performance test you will find it in the protocol section okay so this is the common configuration of protocol which includes base URL common HTTP headers etc then we have the scenario section and you can see here it is now I will also show you how do you write a very simple uh, Gatling script for performance test from scratch but as of now you can take any of the existing Gatling script and understand the different parts so here is the scenario and here we have our actual requests so you can see here we are going to home page then we are selecting a computer this is a get request then we are editing a computer this is a post request so all that comes in a scenario and we can have one single scenario and have all the requests or we can make it modular we can uh, divide our requests or scenarios in different modules and then we can call them separately all that we will learn so this is the scenario setup section and we have already seen all the requests request URL and other details inside the scenario so this is our request and this is this is the URL this will uh, be added to the base URL before sending to the server so all this is here then in a Gatling script you can also see some pauses or think times so you can see there are some pauses here and when you record a script when you record any uh, requests it will also record and capture the pauses you take and that will be shown here in the script if you want you can make it to a lower value but it is good to have pauses and think times in between the requests so it will make the performance test more realistic more real world so we can have these think times like this then you will see the setup section which is a mandatory section so you can see here this is a setup section here we give the virtual user injection or the user load so here we actually here we refer the scenario then we give the user load and then we add the protocol now because we have created the scenario separately and also the protocol therefore we are referring it here otherwise if we have to we can do everything inside the setup section and that is the reason it is saying here setup method is mandatory so it is not just adding the user load adding the virtual user load setup section is the actually the the only mandatory section and you can have the scenario uh, declaration and the protocol everything inside the setup method but then it will not be very readable and that is the reason we keep the scenario separate and refer it here and the protocol separately and refer it here I, I think I have a very simple simulation script that I can show you uh, it must be somewhere in the setup let me check if there is a very basic simulation script or uh, let me check there was a cheat sheet of Gatling if I search for Gatling cheat sheet from I think it was word line or somewhere uh, yeah I think this one or yeah this one so here if you see the simplest simulation if you see here in this class we are just having a setup method and we declare the scenario here itself we also create the request here itself and then we give the user load so you can also have a script like this but of course because we will have we have uh, you know long scenarios and the protocol as well therefore for easy readability and maintainability of the code we keep it separately and then call the setup method at the end okay so this is the mandatory method in getting script all right here uh, I will also keep this I will try to keep this also somewhere in the notes so that you can refer it okay 
and then we attach the protocol as we have seen in the setup method we also attach the configuration of the protocol like this okay now so this is our simulation script let us move to virtual users and here we will learn how can we uh, set up virtual users how do we define the users what are the different strategies of injecting virtual users so here let us create a very simple gatling simulation okay so i will create a new simulation uh, let us go to our browser and i will go to let us go to the gatling demo computer database application and i will also open the logs network logs so i can record the hgr so i will go to more tools and developer tools in the network tab i will clear the logs make preserve log on and recording is also on so i will refresh the page and i will click on add new computer give some computer name and the dates choose some company and create the computer now i will search a computer select the computer and let us say i will delete the computer and that's it i will stop recording and i will do a right click here and save this as hr with content and i will call it as let us say demo 3 and the extension should be dot hr and now i will open my gatling recorder in case you are using standalone gatling that is also fine you can open your gatling recorder i will open from my project now here i am using intellij i think i might have not said this earlier but just in case you are also using intellij and you are new to intellij you can go on my website or my channel and you will find a playlist or link for IDEs so here if you see now in you can see here IDE in editors and we have IntelliJ here we also have Visual Studio Code and Eclipse so for IntelliJ especially you can just in case you are completely new you can watch this IntelliJ idea beginner tutorial how to create Maven project the project structure how to uh, use test ng and other things so this is just for complete beginners otherwise also uh, you can just follow me and you will learn how to use it okay so we have our gatling recorder open i will change the recorder mode to hr converter browse the file which is in our downloads folder and i will say this is recorded simulation so let me see what name should i give it yeah, i can just call it Uh, recorded simulation one here it will go in the package computer database which is fine this is my class name uh, the format I will keep Scala and all these options I will keep as it is this is the folder where it will go in our project and in the filters I will click on no static resources and say start and this is done if I no, now go back to my project, you can see it has come here. Recorded simulation one. And here we have got it. So we have got all our requests here. Okay, so I'll just stop the recorder. And now we have done step number one here. And now we will do some cleanup we will clean the parts we don't need and give also give name to our requests so let us first clean all the header maps which are not required 
it just have some client information browser OS etc so I will remove all these header maps and I will select all and delete or press backspace it will delete everything press the delete button and now I will also have to remove all these references of the headers and as I told you earlier in the last session make sure you do not delete any extra things only this part so starting from dot headers and until the closing bracket if there is a comma or something do not touch that let's just remove this part so here also I will remove this and here also now see at this line which is line number 33 here there is only the header map and nothing else so I can just go here place my cursor and press ctrl x on my keyboard which will remove the entire line okay here also it is header and here and this line I can remove entirely so I will press ctrl x press ctrl s and save the project now the next thing I will do is these pauses so I will make these pauses to some lower number we don't need so many uh, so much of pause time so you can just make it to a some lower number okay and again save it now the next thing I will do is we have to divide our scenario into smaller modules okay so you see here uh, also before that we also have to give names to the requests so let us do that the first request is it is going to the home page so I will say load home page then this is a new computers page or new computer page then here we are creating the computer it is a post request and we are giving all this data so this is create computer and then finally we are uh, after creating we are finding the computer or searching the computer so this is search computer and then this is where after searching from the results we are clicking on the computer so I will say this is get computer or select computer I think select computer will be better name and then we are here deleting the computer so I will say delete computer you can have spaces also so don't think that we don't cannot give spaces whatever name you give here will be shown in the report okay so we have got our script created uh, we have also updated our requests and all this is fine now we will divide our scenario into smaller modules now if you see here until now we have all these requests new computer go to uh, find computer create computer search computer select computer delete computer all this is inside a single scenario here which is recorded simulation one so let us say I want to have different modules so I will say there is a I will say well and I can say I want to create a module for search computer and I will say this is equals okay and here the part uh, where we are searching the computer let us say this part so this one from here search computer and then get the computer this I will keep here so I will say I will create an exact block 
and inside this I will paste this this module of searching and selecting the computer similarly I can say I can create create computer and I will create an exec block and this part create computer I will cut from here and put it inside here okay similarly I can have a delete computer I can say well delete computer and here I will add the scenario or the request for delete computer okay now here based on your project based on your application based on your scenario you also have to uh, take care that what is the smallest unit of your module creation for example in this case you can see I can have search computer separately I can run it separately because it is going to a particular link and I also have all the details here it is a get request with a particular link and similarly the select computer so I can put it separately the create computer is also a separate request and is not dependent on anything else similarly the delete computer but in case you have any kind of dependency then you have to create the modules accordingly or you can also chain it now chaining or using values from one request to other that all we will see in the correlation part later but now as of now we have created this scenario load home page we anyways don't need because we are anyways directly going to the uh, all these requests or pages separately and we have got this new computer also is we have seen here so let me see here we have create computer we have search computer we have here create computer okay also we don't need to go to the new computers page separately so that is also not required and all this we have already done so if I want I can remove this complete scenario I can remove this like all this complete scenario and now we have separate modules so we have search computer here create computer here and delete computer here also at this point in case you want you can in uh, you can format the code in case it is not formatted so you can go to the menu and go to code here and here you can say auto indent lines or reformat code all this will work so this is fine you can save it and now so we have done this step number three now we will define a scenario using the reusable modules so I will say I can say here I can create a scenario I can give it any name SCN and I will say scenario and give it some name I will say my scenario one it can be some meaningful name as of now I am just saying my scenario one and then I will say dot exec and then here I can call the individual module so I can call the search computer I can call create computer I can call here delete computer now this scenario I can now use in my setup and I can use with the user load also I can have different scenario so I can have one scenario which is running all this I can have one more scenario I can say well SCN2 and I will give it some name I will say this is search computer only or I will say search 
and delete and here I will call the search computer module and the delete computer module and similarly as is the requirement of the performance test you can keep on creating different scenarios and calling these different modules and then in your setup part according to your requirements you can call these scenarios and inject the users okay now this thing is uh, called isolating the processes so if you also search for gatling isolate process you will find now these are my earlier tutorials uh, on gatling separate tutorials individual ones so if i see this writing a realistic gatling test so here you can see we first isolate the process and this is how we do it you can see here it is you can see all the examples java kotlin scala so just in case you are using java you can check the java examples for kotlin it is here for scala it is here so we can give value we can give a name to the module and just put all our requests for that module here and similarly we can have different modules and then when we create the scenario we can call different modules as per our wish and then when we create users or when we do the setup part we can give it like this now we can also create users so you can see this is something similar to this one instead of creating scenarios and then calling these values in case your application has different user roles you can also name the scenarios by the user roles and you can say that users can run these modules admins can run all these modules so this is your wish if you see this is exactly same to this thing it's just that instead of using scenario names we have used some user names or user roles and given them these modules what all they can run and then when you set up the user load we can set up like this for example in place of scn you can say users because this is what the name we have given here and then inject how many users and all this protocol setup you can give here we can also do it like this users admin separately so let me show you this uh, instead of this if i say well and i will call this role as users and i will say here i can just say dot exec and i can say users can only search the computer and then i will create a role called admin or i will create a scenario with the name admin and here i will say these can run the modules create computer and they can also run delete computer now in the setup part let me comment this out you can also place your cursor and press control and forward slash to comment a line i will say setup and here i can create the setup separately for different scenarios i will say for users scenario or the users role i want to inject users and here i will say ramp to 10 users during 5 seconds all right and then i will give a comma here and then i will say for admins or the admin scenario i will say inject and now the user profile is also we i will uh, show you the different profiles we can use the open model the closed work model open work model but for now i'm just saying ramp users i will say 20 during uh, 10 seconds okay so this is now our setup of our users the virtual users okay now i will save this and 
let us run and check the report so I will run the engine class if you are using Gatling standalone you can go to your command line and run the gatling.bat or gatling.sh file and then run this particular scenario so this is this is our recorded simulation 1 which is at index number 2 and you can give some description and run it and let us see okay some issue no base URL okay uh, can you guess why it is saying this the reason is in the setup part we did not add the protocol so we will have to add the protocol at the end I will say protocols and the protocol that we have created is this HTTP protocol this is the one HTTP protocol so this was our mistake I will save again and run the engine and let's see this time I will select two here and give some description and run it so it has started you can see it is running with different user load it is running all the different values and all the different modules and it is now done if you you can see the uh, data here you can also see all the different stats here and then let us go and check this report so here are the details and if I scroll down and see you can now see their different user load so we have some users with the admin role running different scenarios and different modules and the users with the user role running different modules and this is their load so here we have eight admins seven users here we have nine admin nine users and as we have defined it in the script it is running and we can also check the details here so you can see all our requests and you can see all these details here okay so this is how we uh, you know isolate our scenarios create individual modules and different modules and then we can use them in a scenario and also run our test with different user roles or different scenarios and different modules so uh, this part I believe this part should be called as how to create modules and how to create isolated modules in Gatling so I will change this and then we have this part defining the different virtual users setup so this is what we have already done we have defined multiple sets of users and assigned modules basically these are create different scenarios and we have assigned different modules to them and then we can run with all all these different scenarios with different user loads so this is exactly what we have done now so you can also try this out if you face any issues if you have any questions you can let me know yes now we have the virtual user injection profile so I will rename this this should be a session on how to create isolated modules and this should be a session on virtual user injection so let us come to this part now okay so here in Gatling when we say load simulation or injection profile we are referring to the way or the uh, profile of the virtual users or the load of the virtual users that we give to our test here we have adding the virtual users to our performance test how do we ramp up ramp down virtual users how do we add the users in different processes or different modules so in Gatling we have two models we have open and closed working models and here you can see in the closed work model in the closed workload model we can control the number of concurrent users on the system that is how many users will be using the system parallelly in concurrent uh, the concurrent users so this is what we control and then in the open workload model we cannot control the number of concurrent users we control the arriving rate of the users so if you see here if you just search for Gatling virtual users you will get this page injection page 
and you can check here the open versus closed workload model closed system is where you control the concurrent number of users and open system is where you control the arrival rate of the users and here we can see the examples in the open model where we control the arrival rate of users you can see this is how we do it we can say do nothing for four seconds then at once there should be 10 users generated then ramp to 10 users during five seconds constant users per second 20 during 15 seconds then constant constant users per second 20 during 15 in the randomized manner then ramp users 10 to 20 during 10 minutes all these things then you can also see for each of this setup the explanation is given here what does this mean and in the closed model this is how we do it so in the closed model we control the concurrent number of users so here you can see in the closed model we are just saying constant concurrent users 10 during 10 seconds ram to concurrent users 10 to 20 during 10 seconds okay so these are different models and here you can see the different examples let us see if i if i copy this user profile and go to my recorded simulation one and i can give it like this it has to come here in the inject so let me say here users dot inject and then within these two brackets i can give all this so it is saying nothing for five seconds then at once five then ramp 20 during two seconds then this and this i can also set max duration but i will remove this one okay so this is how i am giving here if i want i can remove this one now and then for the admin let us say i use a different model i can try this one okay so here i am saying this so this is for example i am showing you you have to create the user profile based on your requirements so this is an example and if i now try to run this and check i am running the engine class and then i will select the make sure that you save your script and now i will select this and i will give some description and start the run so it has started you can see it is running with different user loads create computer delete computer search computer so you can see the count is changing now different users running different modules the user injection is now also set up so it is now done let us now open and check the report so you can see here if i go to the virtual users along the simulation you can now see this is how our users are looking like we have different users at different times so this is how you can see this is a now a very real world realistic performance test of course we are not going to a very huge user load and as i discussed uh, earlier that whenever you have to do a real world performance test with millions of users thousands or millions of users always set it up on a separate system on a test system with the required configuration Al also set up your application on a separate environment you can take help from your IT team from your project teams so when you do a real world performance test with millions of users always do a separate machine and environment setup but for now you can see we are able to set up our test like this okay. and you can see a different virtual users injection examples so I have 
given this I have added this chart and this table so that you can understand different examples and what do they do so for this means inject constant user per second 10 during 30 seconds means inject a constant rate of users 10 users per 30 seconds over 30 seconds okay similarly here we are ramping users per second 5 to 20 during 10 seconds here we are injecting heavyside users 1000 during 1 minute and this means inject users following a heavyside distribution with a peak of 1000 users over 1 minute here we are injecting 50 users simultaneously at the start of the simulation when we say nothing for 5 seconds that means wait for 5 seconds before injecting any users this we have also done here in our script now here we have said nothing for uh, 5 seconds so you can also check this also let me just go to code and reformat or auto indent the code okay and then here we have ramp users 100 during 10 seconds so this is all you can check also uh, I have in the references section I believe in the references section if let me check if there is a section on users so there is a protocol setup so you can see the different protocols we can use here we are just using a base URL here we are defining some headers in the protocol so all this we are doing it then in the request we can we are here setting a very simple HTTP request then a post request we will also see some different post port delete request when we learn API testing here is request with custom headers here is a request with feeder feeder we have not yet done we will do feeders also here we are also validating and checking the status this also we will do here we have scenario set up some examples a very simple HTTP scenario get scenario then here we are simulating a user logging by sending post request so these are also some different scenarios so you can check this and yeah I think for virtual user this is where I have added all the different examples okay all right so now we will go to api testing and let us end this part here and we will see api testing in the next part in case you face any issues if you have any problems or if you have any question related to this lecture related to Gatling related to performance testing or in general related to anything automation testing QA etc CICD DevOps you can let me know in the comment section and I will reply to you I hope this was very useful I will see you in the next part thank you for watching and never stop learning